From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin Francis. This is your Eyewitness News update. The Department of Motor Vehicles will partially reopen for in-person services. The DMV will be open for appointment-only services. Those appointments may be made online for services such as licenses, vehicle registrations, testing for permits, and road tests. The Deputy Commissioner says safety is the number one priority. Plexiglass is in all the branches of DMV. Social distancing is in all the branches. And this new appointment system, where it allows individuals now to go online, all right, make an appointment, follow the traffic pattern, stay in your vehicle. Not all DMV locations are offering these services, though. You can head to the Channel 3 app to find out which services are available at the location nearest you. The University of Connecticut is facing its largest budget deficit in its history, more than $50 million. UConn President Thomas Katsileas sent a letter to faculty and staff announcing furloughs and canceling merit-based raises. The furloughs will apply to most non-union managers, cutting about 5% of pay, which works out to about a day a month. Senior leadership roles, including the president, will take a 10% cut, which is about two days a month. Right, and weather-wise, this afternoon, across Connecticut, like yesterday, it's going to be hot, it's going to be humid. Uh, temperatures top out away from Long Island Sound in the upper 80s and low 90s. In fact, in the high humidity, it's going to feel several degrees hotter along the shoreline, looking at uh, 80s there. And during the afternoon, especially western Connecticut, an isolated shower or storm cannot be ruled out. Those that do develop could produce some heavy rain, some flashes of lightning, perhaps some gusty wind. And then uh, later on this evening, things quiet down. And then tomorrow, we'll actually see a better chance for rain and thunderstorms as a cold front begins pushing into southern New England. So around midday, into the afternoon tomorrow. The threat is there for more thunderstorms and we could actually use the rain with building rainfall deficit. De pardon me, deficits behind this front trending a little less humid and a little cooler toward the end of the week. 85 dry on Saturday, uh, Friday, I should say Saturday, 87 and dry by Sunday. There's a chance for a shower or storm. It's going to little, be a little bit muggier and as well a little bit hotter with highs in the mid to upper 80s. That's the very latest early warning seven day forecast. Eyewitness News is everywhere. Get the latest in-depth headlines anytime on the Channel 3 streaming news app.